Hi, Lama. Well, welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 27th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Lama Public Media. Taking a look at the moon, we have a full moon at the beginning of this forecast period with the moon rising about sunset and setting about sunrise as it does. But since the nights are long, it'll be up for over 14 hours. Great time to go out in for a cold night walk. Checking on drought, because we are still in very severe drought conditions across the state. If you go from last week into this week, nothing really changes. We are holding steady. We are getting an increased snowpack uh, in the western mountains, and as that starts to melt, it'll start to really show up in the soil data. So there's good news in the future. We just have to wait for some spring to occur. Looking at nationally, not much changes here either. If you go from last week, take, take an idea, look at Oregon and down here in West Texas, go forward a week, there's a little bit worsening drought, but not much. Everything is sort of holding steady, being in the middle of the winter. Cold air also helps keep water from evaporating from the soil. For the, speaking of water and soil, looking over the last seven days, Pretty much all that we got was down in the Four Corners area, southwestern part of the state. We got a little bit out in the plains up around uh, Denver to Fort Collins. We remained high and dry. So the storm system that is pulling out, it seems to have dropped about two inches, maybe three inches locally around Longmont. We'll get the official measurements on Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. But the storm system was a pretty wet one. It went way down into the desert southwest. There was snow recorded in Phoenix, which is really rare. And the, California got a lot of beneficial moisture. They really needed that out there. But the storm centers down to our southeast, sending upslope moisture into the state going into Wednesday morning. It's starting to pull out into the plains. We have a warm front that's coalescing to our west. And as that crosses over, we're going to see a sharp warm up and a quick melt on what we did get. Looking at the ensemble forecast from the GFS over the next 10 days, normal high temperatures staying very steady, normal low temperatures of 17 also. We're at the bottom of winter. We'll start to see temperatures creep up as we go into February. All the models agreed that it was snowing at the beginning of the forecast period, and it did, so that's good. Looking out 10 days, 9 days, we do see the model seeing a very strong signal, lots of agreement, that there's something wet coming again. That's about February 4th, February 3rd for the beginning of it. You can see it stretches for a couple days. We'll see why. Let's put this into motion. This is the upper air pattern. Our low is pulling out that just gave us our big storm, kind of big storm. And then looking out throughout the rest of the week, this big ridge just heats us up until finally, going into the end of the month, into the beginning of the next, the next trough begins to pass. Now, once that goes by, again, the ridge comes back. This is what's given us abnormal heat for the summer, fall, and winter so far. Let's take a look at the precipitation going out. Our storm vanishes out under the plains. At the beginning of the week, we're high and dry in through the weekend into next week. And then finally, something starts to get its act together out in the west, bringing some moisture in. So we can hope that this one stays together. When you're looking at nine, 10 days out in the forecast, the models can make up storms. And we've seen that happen repeatedly this winter. It just can't get enough moisture uh, from the Gulf, passes too quickly to give us the uh, precipitation we want. Let's take a look at the cold air. So purples and blues are temperatures below normal, where the oranges and reds are above normal. There goes our cold air at the beginning of the week. Look how quickly that ridge brings abnormally warm temperatures into the west. And we have a little cold air try to push in from the north as we end the month. But the west just keeps warm. It's the uh, best thing. You can't say hot, but it's very, very warm for this time of year with the top of the temperature envelope. Finally, around the third or fourth, that cold air spreads down. We're going to see a very sharp cold front around, around the third, give or take a day. And then the cold air really, really settles in. But be ready. Don't put the coat away. It's going to get cold again. For the North American model, the snow that we uh, see forecasted by it is inch, inch or two, and that's pretty much verified. Only it had most of the snow in the f southern counties of Colorado. If you look at what the GFS was calling for, different 
model, different physics a little bit, different uh, approximations in the math, and it has it all on the western slopes. It looks like sort of a blend of the two happened. The southern counties definitely got better snow than we did up north, and the mountains won again. If you look at the GFS out the next 10 days, starting to scoop in a little bit of that next storm, you can see that the western mountains win again. So this is great that our water for agriculture, for the cities, all comes from that snowpack. We need that western slope snowpack. If we don't get it over here, at least the mountains and the forests get it. So looking out the next seven days, we start chilly on Wednesday, but rapidly get up to the 50s. Some of the local TV outlets are giving us uh, 60, 62 on Friday. I don't know if I'd get that excited about it, but even if it doesn't happen then, early next week it might as well. So a little front coming in on Friday, Saturday, but most of the precipitation will fall in the mountains. It's not gonna do much out on the plains at all. Uh, taking a look at that, Storm for the third, you can see it's about the best that the GFS paints, but it does have a really good wrap up here around the low pressure system with a nice shield of snow over most of the state. So that's what we're hoping for, that that does come to be. So for more frequent weather updates, check out Longmont Leader. I will put the snow totals from Coco Ross up there tomorrow. Also get local news for Longmont and everybody around. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.